What's going on YouTube, Gary here, GZ Duels, bringing you guys a deck profile of my Elemental Heroes deck for the March 2013 format. So uh, there's a whole lot of things I want to talk about this deck, but because the last video that I did on this deck was like 20 minutes, I didn't want to bore you guys with it, so I decided to redo it. And what I'm going to do is I'm not going to talk about a whole lot of things in detail, and I'm not going to show you the, uh, not going to go through it card by card. I'll just post the card deck list in the description below. So um, first of all, I want to talk about what I don't play. What I don't play is uh, what I don't play is Hero Blast, and uh, uh, so Hero Blast. What I don't play is Hero Blast. Hero Blast is good, uh, especially when it's centered around Ineos Alias. It allows you to bring back the Alias from the graveyard, destroy a very key card. Like uh, say in Windups, it would destroy like the Shark in. Uh, uh, let's say in Rescue Rabbit, Dino Rabbit, you would be able to destroy the Rescue Rabbit, or in uh, Six Samurais, you would be able to destroy the Kagemusha. So Hero Blast is good. But the reason why I don't want to play Hero Blast is it's too situational and conjunctional. It needs the alias to be in the graveyard, it needs the opponent's monster to be below 1900 attack, and it just takes a, too much, a, a lot of setup to use this card effectively. I know it's a plus one, and I know you can use it even if your opponent doesn't have a one uh, a monster who's below 1,900, but I just don't like how slow it is. The deck already has consistency problems. That's another thing I'll talk about, but yeah, so that's why I don't play Hero Blast. Another thing I don't want to play is Hero Return Alive. And, uh, I don't, okay, I can't find it. A Warrior Return Alive, sorry, that's the card. So it's basically, you can, uh, it's a spell card, you activate it, you can get back a warrior monster from your graveyard uh, to your hand. And you can get something like Photon Thrasher, uh, a special summon Photon Thrasher, and normal summon another hero monster to go for an exceed play. Or you can get back Bubble Man when you don't have any cards in your hand or on the field, and then you special summon Bubble Man, and you can get uh, the plus two draw. Or if you just want to go for an exceed, you can also use Bubble Man, and normal summon a monster, special summon bubble man. It's also very good. But the reason why I don't want to play it is it's also a very late game situational card. It requires that your graveyard has warriors. It requires, you know, it's like it's basically like hero blast but in a in like a spell card form. That's why I don't I don't want to play it because it's a delaying card. You need to use it effectively only late game, but in the this deck really centers around being unexpected, uh, using the fusions, using the uh, Excalibur and the Blade Armor Ninja to really OTK your opponent when your opponent least expect it, like in the first or second turn. And uh, that's really important when you don't use uh, things that hinder you that needs other cards like, you know, Hero Blast and uh, Warrior Return Alive. That's why I don't play those two cards. And I also don't play Gores. I decided to play um, One Day of Peace over Gores because I feel like, you know, One Day of Peace is also a very psychological, unexpected card. So you play One Day of Peace, your opponent's mentality is like, okay, so on my turn, I can't do any damage to this guy, so I'm not going to commit to the board, probably set a card or two, and just pass my turn to my opponent. So when it's my turn, when One Day of Peace uh, finishes activating, and uh, you can still do, da you can now do damage to your opponent, after you gain the draw from the One Day of Peace, you got all the necessary pieces, you got all your fusion cards, you got the Bubble Man, you can go for an Excalibur plus a Shining, and then you just go off. And uh, it's better than Gores, because if for Gores, you would have to hold it in your hand like a hand trap. It would be like Honest. And once you have Honest and uh, Bubble Man, or like, you know, like another hand trap and Bubble Man, the Bubble Man becomes stuck in your hand. But with Honest, what's good is you can normal summon Honest, special summon Bubble Man by setting all of your other cards in your hand, and then use Honest's effect to return Honest itself if you really need to. Uh, same thing with uh, Neospace and Grammel. You can normal summon it, special summon the Bubble Man, and then use Grammel's effect to return itself. That's why these two, these two like I would say semi hand trap for uh, Neo Space and Grammel do not hinder the the Elemental Hero Bubble Man play, but on the other hand, Gores does because you really need to hold on to the Gores in order to save your life. But you know if it's if it's to save your life, preventing you from being OTK, then use One Day of Peace. It gets you a draw. It uh, plays with your opponent's mentality, and uh, you can always side it out in second game when you want to slow down the game a bit instead of rushing to your win condition. That's why I play that. Okay, uh, what I do want to play is, what I do play I want to talk about is Grammel. Grammel is really good in this deck, especially because um, 
you have very few monsters, of course, you, you might be kind of scared to lose field presence. So, um, but you won't with Grammel in this deck because you have Photon Thrasher. You can special summon Photon Thrasher, normal summon Grammel, go into battle phase, attack with Grammel first, and use Grammel's effect, bounce back the problem monster on the field and Grammel itself. And then since you only have a Photon Thrasher on the field, there's no other monster with it because Grammel's in your hand now, you can use Photon Thrasher to attack your opponent's life directly. It's also good when you use uh, Grammel because um, you can special summon by using things like these uh, Miracle Fusions. And uh, that's really good because you can just, you don't have to waste a normal summon. So you can normal summon Grammel, special summon uh, uh, Shining, and then you just attack using uh, Grammel first, uh, bounce back the cards, attack for life points uh, for Shining. And that's really good. Also, Grammel um, deals with problem cards, um, you know, Xi'an. Uh, Mecha Beast Plane, that level 7 uh, Synchro Monster, which cannot be destroyed by uh, battle or card effect if it has tokens on the field, so you can bounce that back to the to the extra deck. It can also bounce back Abyss Lind, you know, like if your opponent decides to set it and thinking they're smart, they're going to get like an Abyss Megalo, while well, you're just going to say Grammo says no. And uh, Raiko, or um, any flip effect stall card, like Marshmallow or you know, Spirit Reaper, you just attack with Grammel, uh, bounce it back, and then attack with uh, Shining. So it's really good. It helps you control the field presence of your, you and your opponent, and it's really good in this deck. Uh, I also want to talk about uh, Maining Thunder King. Maining Thunder King in this deck, some of you may be wondering, well, it does kind of hinder Emergency Call, Rhoda, and also Pot of Duality, and also Stratos. But uh, my response to that would be you need to use it wisely. You need to uh, first get, out of, uh, get all of these uh, cards use duality and uh, emergency call first. So like you open with duality and then you activate duality. Somehow you get emergency call and then you activate emergency call in your hand and then you search for Neo Strat, uh, uh, sorry, uh, he Elemental Hero Stratos. And then you normal summon Stratos first turn. Even if you have Thunder King, you normal summon Stratos first and then you get uh, a Bubble Man. So you, next turn, if this gets to, if the Stratos gets destroyed, then you can use Thunder King and then you can special summon the Bubble Man from your hand and you can go for an Exceed. Or or now you can use Thunder King to control the board, control the pace, control your opponent from adding cards. It's, uh, you know, you need to use it after you've done your thing, and then you can prevent your opponents doing their thing. That's why Thunder King's good. Uh, okay, so I want to talk about the draw engine. Like I said, this deck experiences a lot of inconsistency, uh, very slow at sometimes. You just keep drawing into traps, and uh, it can get pretty frustrating. So that's why you need the one day piece to prevent yourself from being OTK'd. You get the pot of duality, you need the search cards, emergency call, and rota. And of course, you want to play Upstar Goblin, because Upstar Goblin essentially makes your deck a 37 card deck because uh, these three cards would be in exchange for a thousand life points for your opponent, you get to draw an extra card. Uh, it's no problem for you because, you know, um, once you once, once this deck gets the advantage, once you have Shining, so once you have uh, Absolute Zero, once you have that Excalibur, it's, it's good enough so that you don't have to you don't have to worry about the extra thousand life points given to your opponent. That's why I like uh, Upstar Goblin. It makes the deck much more consistent, makes the deck turbo and unexpected. Uh, okay, I also want to talk about the cards in the extra deck and why I play Bubble Man. Bubble Man is like a variant. There's a whole lot of variants for um, the hero deck. Some play more Gemini based, so they run more Gemini Spark with, um, I think, Crusader of Endymion. And uh, some people run Fusion Gate, which is also a good variant. But I play the Bubble Man variant because of these Exceed options. Uh, so let's see, uh, if you have Shining and you use Miracle Fusion to get Shining by banishing a Bubble Man and a Neos Alias. When the Shining somehow comes out, so, so the Shining comes out and it already is 3200 attack. When the Shining somehow gets destroyed, you would be able to get back the removed Alias and the removed Bubble Man. And then you can Normal Summon Alias, set all of your hand uh, spell or traps, and then Special Summon Bubble Man, and then go into an Exceed play. So uh, it's a very good synergy with the Fusion, and that's why I want to play Bubble Man. And also Bubble Man's really good. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen, the, have seen my video with the Duel. If you have Stratos, you can, it's like automatically you can, get, you can get Bubble Man searchable. Uh, it, it works well with Emergency Call, it works well with Rota. 
soda. And uh, yeah, it's also water, so uh, it combos well with Abyss Dweller. If you exceed using uh, Bubble Man the water as a material, it would be able to get the Abyss Dweller 500 attack boost. And it's good against Mermails because, you know, uh, no longer would be they be able to run it over easily with things like Abyss Pike. Uh, sorry, well, no, Abyss Pike can't do it. Um, Dragoons or something like that, uh, or like, you know, Cataster or something like that. Well, they could still use Cataster, but I mean, like, you know, Dragoons wouldn't be able to just be like a one card out to Abyss Dweller. So that's why, you know, uh, Bubble Man is a good thing to play in this deck. And uh, I guess that's all I really wanted to say. Uh, in the extra deck, I, I in this extra deck, I also have um, Nova Master because I side in po Super Poly. Super Poly is like the love-hate relationship people have with heroes. On the one hand, is really overpowered against things like Xi'an and uh, uh, things like Xi'an, things like Lagia and Doka. But on the other hand, it's also a minus one and you need to use it properly. You, you can't just, you know, go trigger happy with Super Poly. Sometimes even if you can't, even if your opponent can't chain two Super Poly, when you bring out the fusion monster, they can still chain, uh, they can still chain uh, Torrential Tribute and Bottomless Chapel to the summon of the monster. So it's not as overpowered as, uh, as you might think. So, uh, for, and, and also for this reason, you have to play a lot of different heroes in the extra deck. Since, uh, since I, I do play, uh, side into Super Poly, I decided to run one Nova Master over, uh, two Absolute Zeros because, you know, you can, of course, you can, uh, fusion with Lagia and Doka. Those are fire. You can fusion with, uh, Fire Fists. So, yeah, it makes you do a lot of sacrifices and, uh, you know, Super Poly, I just sided in in case I face Mermails or in case I face the popular decks. You know, um, that's why that's when I sided in. I won't side it in uh, just, you know, randomly. I, I won't just main deck it. I'd rather play Thunder King over it. Uh, yeah, I guess that's all I really wanted to say about this deck. Um, Thanks for watching, guys. And if you have any questions about the deck, feel free to drop a comment. Feel free to add me on Facebook or, or personal message me on Facebook. I'll be glad to respond to you. And uh, without further ado, this is GZ Duels Gary signing out.